Uh, so here's an update of what's uh, going on as far as I can see in the Ukraine today. Um, Kharkiv is now under siege. The tanks are in the city, the, the tanks with a big Z on the front. Um, the Z which is there to encourage um, Ukrainian, Trumps to, uh, Ukrainian troops to surrender and um, to, uh, to become part of the Russian occupying force. Uh, meanwhile, the first city, Nova uh, Kachova, has fallen. This fell at five o'clock this morning. Now, it's simply untrue that civilian, arc, uh, civilian structures are not being targeted by uh, Russia, by the Kremlin. Uh, a huge gas depot yesterday, we showed it um, near Vasil, uh, Vasilkiv, was bombed last night. Turkish TV caught the incident live. Um, there's another oil depot in uh, Rovenki, uh, which is now on fire, and gas pipes near Kharkiv have been bombed. Meanwhile, interesting news, the BBC, uh, BBC Russia, was given a voice recording of Ramzan Kadyrov, uh, he's the Chechen leader, made before the invasion, before Putin had even announced there was going to be an invasion. And uh, it makes it quite clear that the Chechen thugs' participation was a part of Putin's overall plan. Uh, there's, uh, the voice recording goes on, it, it says things, we've arranged ourselves uh, where we'll enter, which buildings we'll enter, and uh, where we'll seize control. That is pretty thuggish, that is pretty clear, that gives the lie to the whole thing. By accident as well, um, a Russian... Uh, broadcaster has finally announced a single death of an army officer. His name is uh, Nur Magomet uh, Gazim Magomedov. Uh, Gazim um, Magomedov, and he apparently blew himself up with a grenade. Um, the uh, Ukrainian count of Russian dead goes into the thousands, um, but the Kremlin censorship has prevented any reporting of this, um, presumably to, uh, for the morale of people back home, which of course is, uh, is seriously under threat. The, um, uh, there is a mounting opposition um, in the population in Russia uh, to the war, mounting opposition, um, starting with the intellectuals and with the elite, but it is growing and spreading. Uh, Kiev at the moment is poised for attack um, and uh, in the last few minutes it's been announced that Russia has uh, the Russian delegation has arrived in Belarus in Minsk for peace talks and um, Ukraine has said well it has no intention of having talks in the capital of one of the aggressor nations uh, Russia is going to have to find a different site for those talks but it seems to me that it uh, that is very positive that Russia is making that move. I think Russia, I think Putin, is looking for a way out of this mess that he has created. Um, I hope so.